Okay, hello everybody. We're going to talk about the uh, if statement in C++. And as you can see, I already have my Notepad++ open. And I put a little uh, commentary in the beginning of it saying what we're going to be doing today. In this program, we'll compare the variables x and y. Um, as you know, you have to include the IOE stream library in the very top of your program. And we're going to be using the namespace, namespace standard. So let's start our program by opening the main function and uh, open brackets here. And uh, the way that we use the if statement in C++ is commentary here real quick. Uh, we're going to be doing if. It's going to be if and the expression. Um, we're going to open brackets. Um, Uh, it's going to be we're going to be using the if and then the expression and open um, open brackets and then we're going to write our statement sequence right here. When we're done with the sequence, then we're going to close brackets. That's how it works. Okay. And um, so let's go ahead and declare two variables. The first one will be our um, integer x and y. So we're declaring two variables, and uh, we're going to ask the user to input these numbers for us. So, c out, um, enter a number for x, and we're going to capture that x. Then we're going to display another message. Enter a number for y. This command over here, and l, means end line. And then we're going to capture that number. And here is where we're going to uh, enter that if statement. So let me cut that out of there. And our if statement. Here we go. So if, so what is the first comparison that we want to do? So we're going to have two numbers. And so let's compare if, if x is greater than y. Then we're going to open brackets here. And we're going to say if x is greater than, than y, then we're going to display this message. C out x is greater than then y. Okay. Very good. This actually doesn't work, does it? So let's cut this out of here again. Just put it over here on the very top. So then you know what that's supposed to look like. Sorry if it looks a bit messy. Okay. So here we have our statement. So it says, um, if x is greater than uh, and then y, display this message. Okay? And let's go ahead and terminate that. Let's terminate our program and close it. Okay? Let's save it. Control F S and I'm going to go ahead and compile that code. And let's test it out. So now it's asking for uh, it's asking us to enter a number for x. So I'm going to enter a 5, and enter a number for y, then we're going to enter 2, and there we go, 5 is greater than 2, so that's exactly what we did on this side. If x is greater, if x is greater than y, then display the value of x, which was 5, is greater than the value of y. Now here's the thing, if we run that, that same program again, but now we enter, let's say, for x we'll enter s uh, 2, okay, now we're going to do the opposite, let's enter 2 for x and 5 for y, look what happens. Nothing. Nothing happens because we didn't take care of that. The only if statement that we created was for uh, the uh, 
in the case that x was greater than y, not not any other case. So we we should we should actually enter a few more if statements in here. So uh, let's go ahead and take care of that as well. Um, where's our if statements? Here we go. So then we have if if is greater than y. Now let's do if y is greater. Let's do if x is lesser than y. And then let me just, I'm going to copy this line up here, so I don't have to type it all over again. Then we're going to say if this if x is less than y, then x is lesser than y. And let's close the term. Let's close the the, uh, the function there. So let's uh, save it. Fs. Let's compile the code again. Let's test that. In our previous example. Uh, we had 2 and 5 and we had no response to that so let's try the same example again so 2 for x and 5 for y and now we have an answer 2 is lesser than y we need the space there Okay. but there's one more problem here so let's get the same one and let's just say we have the same numbers so 5 for x and y for and 5 for y as well then again we have, we have nothing okay and that's because we didn't take care of that as well so let's go ahead and do the same thing again now what I'm going to do is copy this, so I don't have to type it all over again, waste your time and mine. And I'm going to change the condition here to comparison, which is um, equals twice. And if that's the case, then we're going to display x is equal to y. So let's save it, control F S, recompile the code. Let's run that one more time. And let's try with the same example, 5 and 5. So for x, 5, and for y, 5. And then we have 5 is equal to 5. Um, so that's kind of an interesting you know, way to put it. It's very simple. Now, let's try something else here. In this case, we have many possibilities. But let's just say if you only have two possibilities. So let me, I'm going to erase all this. Okay. And so now... Um, I'm going to say, I'm even going to erase those as well. So I'm going to say, enter a number for x, okay? I'm going to get rid of y, just x. And now I'm going to use the if statement in a little different way, a different way using the uh, else uh, um, expression as well. So I'm going to say, if x is less, then 10, open parenthesis, then the display message will be C out. Then I'm going to say x, which whatever the variable is, is less than 10. Okay? And now close it else. If that's not the case, if it's whatever else, then I'm going to say, copy this again, x is greater than 10. And close it. Now let's compile this code. X and save it and now compile. Let me clean the screen here so it doesn't look so messy. So let's compile ccc 32 testcpp Now let's test it. So remember, if it's less than if it's less than 10, so 5, enter. 5 is less than 10. Very good. Now let's run that one more time and let's enter 11. 11 is greater than 10. So that's kind of idea behind the if statement. You can also use nested if statements. If let's let's just say if x is less than 10, then you can have other ifs under it, and uh, so on. But that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.